Now, I've talked about the pair method before and how I use that to organize my digital life, but let's take things a step further. How do I use Para in Todoist? Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Russell and this is Let's Chat Tech with Nick. Now, a little bit ago I talked about using the pair method and how I use that to keep my digital life organized. In that video I talked about using Para in Notion, in Todoist, in Google Drive, and even in my Chrome browser. But I had a question and someone asked me about using Para in Todoist, more specifically how I use the resource section and how I keep resources in Todoist. So I felt like making a video replying to this comment and we'll dive into that. Now, before we get into the resource section, let's kind of do a quick overview of what Para is. Now, the Para method is something that Tiago Forte designed and how to keep it's used to keep track of your digital life, keep everything organized. Now, PARA stands for Projects, Areas, Resources, and Archive. And each of those sections obviously have a specific function. Project is something that you're going to work on right away, something that has a deadline. So if you have to uh, build a product and get that out by a specific date, that goes into Projects. Areas is something a little more ongoing and something like your taxes, client work, something that is important but not quite a project that has a deadline, something that is ongoing but is just that it's pretty important. Now resources isn't as important as the areas or it's something that's a resource that you want to save and use for later. So if you're reading a blog or if it's a ebook that you save that you do want to reference and use again, you're going to store that into resources. Archive, well, that's pretty self-explanatory. Anything that you are not using or you don't need, and just in case you want to save it for later, that all gets archived. Now let's dive into how I use the pair method in Todoist. Like I said, Todoist is my to-do list. It is my task management software, and not as much goes into that as, say, Notion or my Google Drive, but I still use the pair method there. Now, with the projects, that is exactly what it is, projects. Now, I'll create templates for, say, marketing campaigns or a website build or something that is short-term. Nothing is in my projects right now, but I will create a template or I'll move a template up into projects and use that in a short term. Areas is something that I use a lot more. Now in areas, that's something that I have, for example, my all my client work. I have all of my personal and my fitness routines. All of that is in there as well as I have my shopping list. Now the shopping list I have broken up into separate stores and shopping is something that I do obviously every week because you need to get groceries. Now that's something I keep in areas. Typically it's empty until I put my shopping list in there but that's how I use it. Now I do have a recipe uh, template in Notion that has a recipe but when I'm out and about to do is for me is simply easier to look at and check off the items as I'm shopping, so that's in there. Now, when it comes to resources, resources is basically where I keep all of my templates for different things in Todoist. So like client management templates, I have onboarding, offboarding, different things like that. I have proposal templates in there, and then I have my TV shows. Now. I have a list of different TV shows that are on specific nights. For example, Superman and Lois was one of my favorite shows that just ended. And I had a reoccurring task that went out every Monday. Now, technically that could be say an area, but it's not something I'm going to use and edit and manipulate. So that is a resource. It's a resource for me to see what's there. And the templates 
are resources that I'm gonna use over and over again. So I keep all those templates in there. Now, Archive isn't something that I use very often at all, and there's nothing really in my Archive folder. I do have it. So if I have, say, a client uh, project and I'm finished with that client, I may move that down to Archive for reference later. So kind of like the template if I've modified it for a specific client. I can see that, but I'm working with all my clients now, so there's no need to move that down there. And that's it. That is how I use Para in Todoist. So that's it. A short video on a little quick tutorial on how I use Para method in Todoist. And now, if you're a planning nerd, if you like to have tasks and organize your tasks every single day, I do have a Notion template for that. So stay tuned for the next part of this and make sure you grab your planning hub soon. With that said, I'll see you on the next video. Now, it's no secret, I absolutely love planning out my week. And not only that, I love having an outline and setting goals for the entire year. And I have the perfect Notion template that can help with all of that. Now, my planning hub template in Notion starts out with a yearly review and planning session where you can not only set all of your goals throughout the whole year, but use quarterly reviews to review each quarter and make sure you're staying on track with those goals. Better yet, it has a weekly review. So every single week, you can take your top three goals in health, wealth, and relationship. And you'll see when you open the template on your yearly goal setting, how that ties in. But you can keep track of all of your goals and not only that, review your previous week so you can make the following week a lot better. And then even better than that, it has a whole section where you can plan out each day of the week. So when you do your daily planning, everything is laid out for you. You can set up your whole week and then using the eat the frog method, plan out your entire day. Even more so, I have a few journaling prompts in there to kind of set you up on the right mindset to have a very productive and awesome day. All of that, click the link in the description. Make sure you get your copy of the Planning Hub today.